Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to carve a simple gnome. And uh, yeah, I'm going to walk you guys through step by step. We're going to have two camera angles. If you're here for that, be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Also, be sure to check out that store tab down below. we got some new merch available. All those uh, purchases help support the channel and I greatly do appreciate it. Also, real quick here in the beginning, thank you to all my members. You guys support the channel directly monthly and i really do appreciate it thank you so so much all right let's talk about this so the first thing you guys are going to want safety gear all right your ppe chaps boots gloves that kind of stuff eye protection ear protection is always a good idea a jaw horse this is going to clamp your workpiece in place a modified mine with a piece of wood so we don't hit metal i'm gonna need a chainsaw i'm running an msa 220 your 170s or your smaller saws will be just fine. In this case, I've got a quarter pitch sprocket with a 12 inch bar that runs quarter pitch chain. This is not a dime tip bar. This is a stock roll nose. You can get this right off the shelf. You'd have to order the sprocket depending on your saw, right? Most saws have a 3 8 If you're using a little saw, you'll have to change to a quarter if you want to run exactly what I'm running. You can do this with your stock 170 though. Then we've got a piece of yellow pine. All right, we're looking at about, oh, 16 inches tall or so, 15, 16 inches tall, about four, five inches, five inches deep, probably about six across. And this is a quartered log. So this is one quarter of four. There would have been another one, another one, another one to make a full log, okay? So that's quartered. Next thing you're going to need, two colors of paint. I'm using black for the boots and red for the hat. You're going to need a torch of some sort, either like the one pound coleman torch or i like to use the turbo torch i'll have links to this stuff in the uh, description below through amazon or in the store tab i found i can link stores for other stuff than my merch through the store tab and i get a little more kickback if you buy through the store tab so check that out and um let's see let's see probably a flap sander sandaflex flap sander now if you want to be able to step it up a little bit farther, you only need those things. But if you want to step it up a little bit farther, you can use a quarter inch shaft, half inch green coarse saber tooth flame burr and a die grinder, okay? It's a lot of tools for a beginner. So I'm going to try to do most of it with just a chainsaw and like the few things you need right off the bat. All right, guys. So this is going to be one and a quarter times the speed. Uh, that's how I was able to get it down to 16 minutes. Now, right now I'm using a wood crayon and just kind of roughing out those lines. I don't always do this. Now that I've done a few of these, I don't even usually uh, take this time, but it's a good idea for you beginners to do this and to uh, you know mark those lines until you get comfortable creating this piece. Now I will have links through Amazon and through the store or shop tab to some of the tools, to merch, to all that kind of stuff. Obviously you guys make purchases that help support the channel. Big shout out once again to all my members. Thank you so, so much. So as we're making our cuts, remember guys, triangles and wedges. You're thinking triangles and wedges. That is the majority of pieces you're removing. Now I realize, right, I'm not telling you exactly what to do here, but if you're watching, you can see the angles and see where we're going, right? Here we're trying to carve a uh, curve trying to create a curved line up underneath that'll be the bottom side of his hat because it's kind of going to be tilted forward if you saw the thumbnail we need to leave that material because we got to come across because we want like a rim for the hat like where the hat's kind of like rolled up so we're going in about a quarter of an inch roughly quarter to half and then we're going to come through and cut down to that line this will kind of give us that edge for the brim of the hat I think a lot of it's self-explanatory, but if you guys need a little bit more, you know, you can let me know. I'll do my best to comment and respond. Same thing on this side. Come through about that quarter to half an inch. Cut down to the line, remove the material. This is how it doesn't look so flat, right? We gotta remove material so we have that good three-dimensional look. We don't have this very flat looking piece. 
When you get into this part, there's not a whole lot to explain. I mean, you're just trying to remove material by little cuts or by that scraping motion. Now we're rounding the hat. I understand some people might be like, well, this is kind of quick. You're going a little fast, but really you're just shaping. Um, I can't walk you through all that little shaping stuff. It's, you know, trial, error, and practice. But I really want to be able to give you just the basics, cuts, and designs for this piece. Now that piece I removed, if you look on the right-hand side, you can see where the nose will be protruding. So that's why we did that, cut that hat back. And now you'll be able to make yourself a nice round or oval or whatever you want to do for the nose. Angled up cut, down. Everything here is angles. We're not going straight in. We're doing our best to have an angled cut. Remember, triangles and wedges. And if you look, a lot of the cuts after they're made, everything has a slant or an angle to it. That one was a little straighter than I'd like. working our way around the nose small small cuts now this is not a dime tip bar all right if you set up your 170 with a quarter pitch sprocket and you get a 12 inch bar quarter pitch it's three eighths um you have the same thing i've got right here so you can set up your 170 you set up your ms 180 or these battery saws to do this you could probably do this with the uh, MSA 70 or the MSA 60, which is the equivalent to like the MSA 140. Those are the homeowner version battery saws. Um, just a stock bar. You're not doing a bunch of heavy lifting on these carvings. There's not a ton of material to remove in that aspect. So here, you know, we're figuring out where the cheeks are gonna be and where they come into the nose. So we're using the nose of the bar to kind of scrape it away. This alleviates the necessity of a ton of tools. If you figure out how to use your bar in this manner and remove material, it's quicker than using a grinder and burrs and stopping and switching tools and doing those sort of things. So it is about saw control and just kind of getting comfortable doing this stuff. Now here it does look like, right, like I'm going quick, but remember we're one and a quarter the speed. But you take your time. You're not trying to remove a ton of material at once if you're doing this motion. You're working your way down and across to get that kind of concaved look, right? I'm going to angle up for my beard. Angle down, kind of define where that beard's going to be. Stop, there's the top of the foot. Do the same on the other side. Angle up, kind of run a line down, see where the top of the foot is that we drew in. Remove it. Top of the foot right there. Take our beard and follow our line down because it's got to come over the legs and the feet. And we'll come in and we'll kind of start like the mustache area angled cuts these aren't straight we're using the side of the bar the side of the nose now this is pretty much a hard corner there so what i'm showing you is like let's remove some of that hard corner round up the top of the mustache under the nose just a little kind of define where the inner side of the mustache is going to be a little bit of an angled cut all right, so that's the top of the mouth, lower part of the mustache, up under the nose. That's where the mouth's gonna be, right there. Now what I'm doing is scraping across, you can see on the left, with the nose of the bar. And this is gonna define where the lip kind of curves up and out a little bit. And that'll give you a place to start the hairs for the, low, the lower lip. Now doing the hairs like doing the fur on the bear, you're just using the side of the teeth and like scraping down. And it'll be the same thing for the hair over here on this part of the beard. And right here though, I want to round it in so I don't have hard edges. The beard doesn't have hard edges, it should flow. Just kind of scraping, rounding, shaping. 
And we're gonna come down, side of the nose of the bar. This is not straight cuts. If you straight cut in, it doesn't look right. We're just running the saw down. Take your time here. Keep those hairs a little bit tighter for the mustache area. Again, if you want, this is how I like to do it. So it looks like there's they're a finer hair and then the hair coming off the cheeks for the main part of the beard are a little bit more coarse. This is where we're gonna do the coarse, a little bit more of a gap between those lines. Not filling it in as much as I did for the little bit of the goatee mustache area. work your way down and you take the piece move it to the edge of the jaw horse so one of your feet sticking out there's the angle cutting back behind him a little bit down remove that corner angle in it's the whole outside edge of his boot basically repeat and reverse on the other other side here on the inside round it in and make a line so now you got heel to toe on the boot, toe to heel, heel to toe, switch sides. We're going to repeat that same process over here. It's a little tough. I didn't realize the handle of the saw is going to be in the way on this one. Angle cut, angling in a little bit. Separation of the heel and the toe. Now you take the whole piece, spin the whole guy sideways. So now you have a full front view of your carving. Lock them in. If you guys are still here, you're enjoying this, it helps you out. Leave me a comment, let me know. Be sure to give me a thumbs up here on this video. Also, if you haven't already, hit that, hit subscribe. Hit that bell, hit all, and turn on your YouTube notifications. Even if you are subscribed, see if your notifications are on. We're trying to get uh, more people turn on notifications here so help me out so i did was come back in and remove that material so now you can see on the right the separation of the beard from the boots just come in put your lines in clean them up however you want you can shape that beard down a little more so the goatee and the mustache area kind of stick out past the main part of the beard that's what i'm doing here and you go back through reshape add your lines once that's done i like to use the flap sander or the sander flex and hit it all before i burn it why this removes any fuzzies or any loose stuff um, before the burn you won't have all this stuff just floating around just using a torch to go through and darken up that beard and hit any spots that might still look kind of fuzzy or like a hard edge this will help round it over um, the point of again hitting it with a flap sander prior to this is so you don't have any like fiery ambers floating around it's always a good idea though to have like a small um either a bucket of water or a fire extinguisher on hand you know you should have that in your carving area anyway figure all this fine sawdust can be pretty flammable at times once i get the beard burnt nice and dark go back through with the flap sander remove any of the loose soot rounding over edges now that they've been burnt just cleaning it up after that rip up a piece of cardboard got all these little shapes it doesn't have to be perfect get yourself whatever color you're going to use for the hat and use this as like a block like a, uh, a little barricade if you will hopefully you won't get a ton of overspray on your face i did there on the nose it happens kind of rushing through for the video but boom hats done right now we're going to repeat that same process to paint those boots black now don't worry about getting too much right overspray on the beard here i'll kind of freehand the paint a little bit a couple times that helps with shadowing on the edge of the beard. I just don't want red overspray on the face. Like that bit on the nose drives me nuts. I can't just leave that and call it good because it's not. So once the black's done, we'll go back through and we'll clean that up. Now, this is where 
you know, this is another tool. You got your die grinder. I've got a quarter inch shaft, half inch green coarse flamber from Sabretooth. And go through and clean up your overspray. You can hit the mouth. You can lighten up the burn and things like that. Give you a little more depth, a little more character. How did you do? Just a quick, simple gnome. People really seem to love these. I didn't do a lot of work. You know what I mean? In the scheme of things, you can customize these. You can do a lot of stuff. He's just sitting on his butt, boots sticking out. I think his hands and arms are under the beard, right? No eyes. You could take it a step further. You could carve eyes up in here, change your colors, do whatever you guys want. Just wanted to give you something to start with, something that sells well at craft fairs and things like that. Not a very big item, right? You put a little timing, knock these out. You can get anywhere from $40 to $75 a piece on these things pretty darn easily. Um, let your paint dry really well, hit it with some clear coat, and bam, you're done. Really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. When you do, hit that bell, hit all, and turn on YouTube notifications. We've got about 17% of my subscribers actually turn on notifications. You might be subscribed and you've never done it. Check it out. See if you can. I'd love to get us up to 25, 30% of my subscribers having all notifications on this year. Again, big shout out to all my members. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to check out the store tab for some merch. Appreciate you guys watching. Check out some videos popping up and I'll see you guys later.